Get off I my... always sit in this seat when I'm with Morgan. No! Oh. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Oh! What's up, guys? How are you doing? I'm Paul. And I'm Jacob. And this is the Christian Guys segment of the Paul, Paul and Morgan, Morgan. The Paul, Paul and Morgan, Morgan show. show. Yeah. This video is on what Christian guys look for in a girl or specifically a spouse. We want to share what we were looking for while we were dating. What were the things that were high priority for us. I am really excited to have my friend Jacob here. He's one of my closest friends, solid man of God, and a real goofy goober. Thanks, man. He has just got a wild side. Uh-uh! He does. You guys would probably remember him from yeah. the cussing video. And I feel like he's got a lot to add to the Christian Guy segment, and I hope to see more of him. If you're new here, we are making Christian advice videos on life, love, and dating to help you have hope. And be free. Boom! Jacob, let's just jump right into it. Oh wait, hold on. The way I want to start this video, I want to get it out there. Jacob and I both, speaking for both of us, our number one thing was a woman who has an intimate walk with the Lord yep. and is walking in obedience. That is the first and foremost. But now we're going to jump into a little <clears throat> more specific things. My first one that I came up with, Christian guy looking for in a future spouse. This one's huge. This one, I'm just going to be straight up, it's huge. A girl that has a good attitude that mm. is encouraging, that's not when you're around her, she's looking at the negatives in life, but has just trained herself, is grateful. Just so a, good. Isn't that good? So good. The Bible says a cheerful heart is good medicine, and it's also contagious. Mm. Both of our wives are so delightful and positive. They are, like, for real. Philippians 4, 8 girls, bro. Philippians Dwelling on the positive, whatever is true, whatever is noble, noble whatever, whatever is just, whatever is pur pure, whatever is lovely. If anything is worthy of praise, meditate on these things. Listen to and him go! That's our girls, bro. Crazy, Your wife dude. makes me feel funnier than I really am. <laughs> she laughs a lot. Her laugh is contagious. It's contagious. Get, try right. to do her laugh. Morgan's laugh. Oh, wow. I should, try I'm to... the worst with impressions. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that actually was, no, that was pretty good. Don't that put pretty, that in I'm there. putting it in. I think she'll be offended. No, she won't be offended. She'll laugh not at it. Morgan will laugh at it. Jacob, go. Um... When I was on my wife hunt, good. personally, I was looking for an athletic woman who loved the Lord, and I found one. God created me as an athlete. I'm, I mean, I love sports. This girl, she's very athletic, but more importantly, she loves the Lord. I am so number two under Jesus in her life. I get it. I get what you're saying, <clears throat> but I think we're going to get some viewers who are like, that's not fair to say... You know, Christian guys are looking for an athletic girl. We're just being real here. Jacob wanted someone that he could do athletics with, and God provided that. I don't think it's unfair to put that in your list of unique things that you're looking for. My next thing that Christian guys what you got? What look you for got? in girls and a spouse, someone who is real. When I went out with Morgan for the first time, the thing that probably stuck out to me more than anything else was she was so authentic. She straight up told me some stuff that she was struggling with on our first date. And I'm not saying you should like be so like bearing your soul on your first date. But to me, that was so attractive because you have so many people that are just fake nowadays on social media or whatnot. And they're wanting to hide their struggles. But like, I'm looking for someone who could be my wife. I want to know who you really are. I think both of our wives, their heart for the Lord is evident and real. It's not superficial. It's not shallow. Jacob, go. Um, I have a fun, goofy, crazy, adventurous side. He does. To me. And I wanted a girl who could match that and not be intimidated by it. Some guys are just kind of wild and crazy and like to be adventurous and have a good time. And there's nothing wrong with desiring a girl who can match that. Every guy is going to be different in that way. Some guys might be more, more reserved and are looking for a girl that's more reserved. There's that. so much beauty in quiet wisdom. In a girl. And my wife has some qualities like that, but she's also goofy, fun, crazy, but she can also at any time snap out of it and get really serious about the Lord. Morgan mentioned this in a recent video, like she wanted me to be more goofy. She actually brought that out of me. So maybe like when you're first getting started going out with somebody, they may not be quite to your level. You can bring that out of somebody. I am a little more lighthearted and goofy than I was when I first started dating Morgan. So it can grow. Right? What you say? Bro, you are so fun, bro. And thanks. Hold on, my wife's calling. I gotta, I gotta take this. Make it quick. Hey, baby. I'm just kidding. As long as you need to. Hey. Uh, I love you. I love you too. You're on camera. What? What's the topic? 
what is important to us in a future spouse? I think someone who um, is committed to the Lord and committed to the covenant that you all are making. Like when you say, I do, you're like committed to no matter how hard it gets. Amen, dude. I got a good one. You got a good one, see? <laughs> and that is something that is lacking is being committed. Commitment is huge. Yes. I love that, baby. Well done. Well done. Um, that was a good feature. Love you. Bye. 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 All right, last one. Mm -hmm. What Christian guys, Christian guys look for in a spouse and a girl. And I'm going to say this one, even though it is a little bit controversial. We have made a video where I've mentioned this and it's gotten some backlash, but it's what's in my heart, okay? I want a girl that cares about her health that cares about what she's putting in her body, that cares about being active and exercising because those things are important to me and I feel like they're, mm. they're it's okay to, that that is important. Yeah, that's okay because you want to hold on to her for as long as you can in this life. Yes. You want your wife I want her until you're 100 years old, bro. Amen, dude. And yeah. I want her to be living the best life she can. Mm -hmm. Like, obviously, the spirit... Our spiritual side is the most important. Yeah, but spiritual bodily health. bodily exercise and and maintaining your physical health is important, is important as well. We got that point across. You guys, we're coming at this. We're not we're not trying to be like, oh, Christian guys. What the, it's all about what they want. We're just sharing our hearts. We're sharing where we came from when we were looking for a spouse. Keep going. What are you doing? You are just full of energy. I just I give him permission to do what he wants. We hope that you see our hearts behind this video and that we truly love and appreciate you guys. I think that a lot of what we're seeing really is kind of coming from a universal place. Like this is some things that are important to Christian guys, but some of it is unique to Jacob and I. There are different types of guys. This is where we're coming from. Awesome. Guys, give this video a thumbs up if you appreciated the content, the message that was in it. Yes, there it is. We want to hear from you all. Comment below. Let us know if we said something that you disagree with or if you love what we said and you want to add to it. We love you all. Have a wonderful rest of your day and we'll catch you again very soon. Have hope. And be free. Do we have permission to feature you in the video? Yeah, I got for it. Yeah!